Hi everyone, this video is to show you the remote learning repository for RF and microwave course. So for this remote lab, we are using the Keysight remote lab solution. Okay, so roughly this one is how it looks like. We will connect our PC from our home from anywhere, okay, to the cloud and to the PC in the lab, okay, in university and control our training kit and do the measurement. So we will connect our PC to the cloud and then we can do our measurement at our home. Okay. This one is the ME1000RF circuit design courseware. Okay. It's from Dreamcatcher. It's a training kit. Okay. This one is the receiver unit. Okay. You can see here have like the LNA, low noise amplifier, the mixer, the pan pass filter and the amplifier and frequency synthesizer. So you can see from here, right? Actually, it's like all the cables like port 1 and port 2 is connect to the let's say this one is the LNA then we will characterize the LNA what is the characteristic of this LNA okay so when we want to check for like mixer then we need to change the cable to mixer and then we need to change the cable to like mixer in and mixer out and then if you want to measure that band pass filter we need to change the cable to band pass filter so this one is very difficult for us to do the remote uh, for the lab remote and if we want to do the, the, all the measurement, then we need uh, someone in the lab to help us to change the cables. So they actually have a solution like using the switching, okay, the DAQ from the key side. We, then we don't need to change the cable manually. Okay, so I will show you this one is the DAQ 970A and the training kits. Okay, so this one is the switches. Okay, that means they can connect all the cable, okay, together and then to the port 1 and port 2. That means inside here, they just do the switching. Okay, so our PC, right, will connect to all the instrument here. Okay, the VNA, the spectrum, the V signal generator, and the DAQ. Okay, so now our PC that we remote, they will toggle the switch and then to turn on which, which port that we want to measure Okay, from here. The, so the lecturer in the lab, they don't need to change the cable one by one to do the each of the testing. Okay. So next, uh, the Keysight Remote Lab Solution, right, they can do is like remote desktop control, configure and measure. And then remotely access the lab bench PC and view available instrument list connected to the bench. That means here you can view all the instrument list and monitor the instrument status and configuration. Yeah, we can configure and smart teaching and learning tools. So they have like checkbox for better participant and file transfer and also schedule and manage the lab remote session. So let's talk about like how is the DAQ multiplexer works. Okay, so this one is the key side DAQ970A. Here is the front panel and here is the real panel. So this one is the three sort of the DAQ. That means you can put in three different DAQ for like the electronic one or the RF cables one, then do the switching. Okay. And then here have the LAN cable for the connection and USB. And here is the power source. Okay, next. Okay, so for the DAQ970A connection, okay, so you can see this one is like DAQ970A and this one is the DAQ multiplexer 905A. So this one is the multiplexer that will put into the slot in, into the DAQ here, behind here. Okay, and then you can pull out the cable and all this cable will connect to the signal gen or the spectrum or the VNA. Okay, and here the socket is for SMB connected. Okay, so here we have the detail. It's like the DAQ M905A. This is dual band 4 channel RF multiplexer with 50 ohm. Only 2 gigahertz bandwidth. So they can use as a BNC or SMA to SMB. That means this SMB connector will connect to the DAQ 905. Okay, so the RF multiplexer are arranged as two independent one times four multiplexers. So this is how it looks like. So you can see here it's like one channel and another channel here. So that means right, you will have one channel is like a COM and four output. That's why they call it one times four. That means one, one, two, three, four. One input and then four output. Okay, so this one is with SMB. So SMB connector and the SMA called SL cable. Okay, so this one is channel two. Okay, so next, this is how it looks like. 
So for this, right, you can see that actually like I have a com, com1 here. So port1 is like channel1, port1, channel2, port1, channel3, port1, channel4. So this one is like com2, what that means is like com2, channel1, com2, channel2, com2, channel3, and com2, channel4. Okay, so it's something like this. That means the middle one here, right, is the com. Okay, then they will toggle this switch to turn on which channel they want to activate. Okay, I will show you the detail by demo. So the measurement setup. Okay, let me briefly show you the measurement setup. So this is the VNA. Let's say this is a VNA and our port 1 will connect to the channel 1 and the port 2 will connect to the channel 2. Okay, and connect to our training kits. So we will do something like this. That means COM1 and then channel 1, 2, 3, 4 and COM2, channel 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so let's connect our COM1 to all the port 1. Okay, that means channel 1. Okay, my channel 1 will be here. C11, CH11, channel 1 and channel 2, channel 3, channel 4. Okay, so now I've done my connection for port 1. Next. We connect the COM2. So the COM2 is connected in the middle here and then they have like channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, channel 4. That means right, I have connect all the input with the red color line that means COM1 to the port 1 here and the port 2 will connect to all the output. You can see here it's like IF out and then the bandpass filter out and amplifier out and the bandpass filter 1 out. Okay, so once we've done the setting, then I will show you like how it's going to activate. So let's say we want to test like band pass filter one. So here we will activate com one channel one and com two channel one. So this is how it works. We activate this and the com one will toggle the switch to here and toggle to here. Then it's active for chan com one channel one. So it's the same go to com two. Okay. So active here and go to here, then it's active for channel 1 for COM2. Okay, next, we want to measure for amplifier. So we're going to active COM1 channel 2 and COM2 channel 2. Okay, so you can see here it's like we activate for COM1 and then channel 2 and COM2 channel 2. Okay. So remember, COM1 is port 1, COM2 is port 2. So next, we want to measure for bandpass filter 2. It's the same. We just activate for channel 3 for both, both of the port 1 and port 2. Okay. So we activate for COM1, channel 3. So you can see the toggle and toggle here. Then it's connect to channel 3. Same go to COM2. Okay, we just toggle the switch actually. Next. For mixer we want to measure for mixer then we will toggle the switch to channel 4 and channel 4 so this is how it looks like okay the switches okay so now is for the demonstration so for demonstration i will show you like how to measure the bandpass filter one power amplifier bandpass filter two and the mixer okay so let me remove my pc in the lab so this one i will Log in, okay, to control my PC in the lab. So, okay, once I'm logged in, this one is a admin account. That means it's like you can see the user is lab admin. So I can just directly access to the PC in the lab. Okay, so let's say here is online, the status other PC is offline. So I can just connect to the online station. Okay, when I click connect, I need to wait for a while for start remote access here okay so wait for a while then click on start okay now i already access to the lab pc okay but i can't control it because i need to click on request control okay so now i can control the pc now okay so from here right let's see i have the cam in my lab so i can just click on the cam so I can view the situation in the lab now. Okay, so this is the PC. Okay, and this is the DAQ and the Spectrum and VNA and the training kits here. Okay, they are like fully connection. 
Okay, so then I will start my bench view. Okay, now I have a DAQ here, my VNA here, and my spectrum. Okay. So now we have looks like a bit weird, right? Our our VNA. Okay, because this thing and then we can't click it. But don't worry, you just go to here and find like right VNC. Okay. Connect to our VNA. It's too small, you can't view it, then I can enlarge it full screen here. Okay, now I can do it full screen and I show you like connect. Then I can connect to my VNA. Okay, that means something like this. So this one is the VNA, the front panel of the VNA. So I can just click like no. And then the result is weird, right? So I can just like click on here and then I can do like preset. Okay. Or I can do like something called recall. Okay, I can recall my state that I calibrated before. Okay, something like that. So you can choose the state that you have calibrated before. Okay, next. Okay, so now we're done. Then we can just close it. And then we go back to the bench view. Okay, then we get the current screen. So this is exactly looks like here. Now, the situation. Okay. Next, we go for like, the bench view and we will do the measurement. First, we go to the DAQ. Okay, so this is the DAQ and then we're going to like turn on and turn off the switches to like do the measurement. Okay, something like this. So we're going to test the like, band pass filter one, right? So actually here, you actually can like rename. Okay, so let's say this one, you want to change it like pop. It's a pop two, right? So you can put like output. Okay, so let's like this. So I can just like close it. When you close it, that means that we toggle the switch to band pass filter now. Okay, so then we can check from the VNA. Is it different? Okay, so you can see roughly different from the previous result. And then we also can check from here. Is it the result is changing? Yes, it's different. Okay, that means this one is a band pass filter. So from the bench view, right, we also can do something like instrument setting. Okay, we can set the frequency. Let's say we set it like 500 megahertz. And then here will be like 2 gigahertz is enough. Okay, let's say I suddenly create like 5 gigahertz, but my VNA, right, is only can support 3 gigahertz. What will happen? Then they will automatically maximum 3 gigahertz only okay so now i go back for 2 gigahertz okay when i want to check my s21 as well so i can make it like two trees okay two trees here and one of the trace will be s21 so now i go like trace 2 i can change it to s21 Okay, so now you can see the result is like the blue color is S21 and the yellow color is S11. Okay, and also we can do like something like marker. We can turn on our marker here. Turn on. Okay, then we can put the marker like tracking. So we can put the marker here. And we also can do another marker like marker 2. Then we can trace it like minimum. Uh, we need to turn on. And we trace it like minimum. Okay, track it. Okay, so they have another marker here. Okay, so next, we can click on exit. So our share screen, our remote screen will be minimized. Then we can go for the remote here and then we're going to test for power amplifier. So power amplifier. So power amplifier we know is here channel 2 and channel 2 for port 1 and port 2 so we just go back to our remote then maximize it and we go to our DAQ okay and then we turn on here uh, maybe you are a bit boring with all of this okay so we can do it like graphic as well so something like this that means right you can do it like doing like switching okay so this one is like input band pass filter 1 so I also can do it like input for power amplifier Band pass filter maybe a bit small so I can make it bigger something like this okay then I can do it like 
for mixer and output for bandpass filter one power amplifier and bandpass filter two and mixer output okay so now we have the switch switching okay we just toggle the switch so now we are bandpass filter one and bandpass filter one for the output okay so let's say i have toggle this one input for pa what happened to the result so i have forgotten to toggle this one so let's see the vna here and we get the current screen okay something like this because the port 2 doesn't receive anything so we can also double check to the real situation in the lab okay so the graph is exactly the same then we just go back to the daq we toggle the power amplifier so we just click it okay you can see the graph is different so when i click back okay so you can see the result for the s21 is not here then i toggle it back for the power amplifier then they have output here okay so let's go back to the vna and then we get the current screen now we have the result for the power amplifier so before we active the power amplifier we need to careful with the power here for our vna so we can put it like negative 40 dbm okay so we enter negative 40 dbm we can change here and then we go for our i have training kits is here Okay, so uh, actually I can minimize the camera. The, this one is the RF trainer control panel. That means it's from Dreamcatcher. It's to control the training kits. Okay, so our module right is, is transmitter. That's why we need to click on transmitter here. Okay, transmitter unit. Then we just click on connect. And we can turn on the amplifier here. So how are we going to view like, is it we turn on the amplifier or not? We can just go to the camera here. Okay, then we click on the transmitter unit and we can carefully view from here, right? They have like a red color light. So let's say I turn on, you can view the VNA also, the graph will be different. So when I turn on, okay, you can see the LED light here and the graph is, the S21 is going up. So when I turn off, the LED is off here. So turn on, okay. So the LED is on. Now I turn off the LED off. The result is going down for the S21. So when I want to amplify the signal, I just click amplify. Okay. Then I go to my bench view. I can get the current screen, the result, and my signal have amplified. Then I can save as port and save my data to Microsoft Word or image. Okay. So next we're going to show is bandpass filter 2 so let's go for the bandpass filter 2 here okay then we maximize it full screen then we go to the daq we can just toggle the bandpass filter 2 bandpass filter 2 okay then go to the network analyzer and get the current screen okay we see the peak is uh, a bit narrow the bandwidth Okay, we can just go and do some setting at the start and stop frequency. So we can say like start frequency will be like 800 megahertz and stop frequency will be like 1 gigahertz. Okay, so this one is how it looks like. So we can get the current screen and click it. Ta-da! It's like we get the bandpass filter. So you can see like S21 is going. It's something like this and the S1 is something like this. So the main design is the characteristic of bandpass filter. Okay, then we can view from our camera here. You can see the VNA also a bandpass filter line like this. Okay, so yeah, we forget to turn off our amplifier. Then remember to turn off. We just go to the IF training kit control panel. Then we just turn off. Okay, once we turn off, then it's off now. Okay, then we're going to do for another one the mixer. So for mixer, we just turn on channel 4 and channel 4. So let's go to the mixer, the DAQ, then let's go to the bench view and the DAQ. We just toggle the mixer and the mixer. So we get the current screen. So this is how we do the measurement for the remote learning. 
Okay, so we also can like turn on the mixer, up converter. So we turn on it, then we get the current result. Okay, so now, okay, we have turned on, right? So we can view from the camera. Okay, so the LED is on here. So let's say I turn off, the LED is off. So you can see the difference. So this one is good that we can view the real situation in the lab now. And also, let's say I can turn on from here for the frequency synthesizer. So the frequency synthesizer is connect to the SA. So we actually can view the result from the SA as well. So let's say I turn on the frequency synthesizer. You can see they have the peak here. That means right, they have harmonic. So the frequency is 818. That means here should be 818 and then times 2 and times 3 of the frequency. Okay. So now let's go to the bench view. We want to have a clear result. We can go for spectral analyzer here and get the current screen. Okay, so you can see we have three peaks, exactly same as in the camera. So let me make it small. Somewhere here. Okay, three peaks. Okay, then here. You also can put the marker. Pictures. Okay, we have the marker here, and we also can go for like next pick in the right. They will go to the pick two here. Okay, so we go to current screen, get the current screen. They should be go to the second pick. So it's one point six three seven zero. That means times two of this fundamental frequency. So if we go for another pick, another next pick in the right. Okay, then we get the current screen. Okay, so there should be go for the third harmonic here. So it's times three of the frequency of the fundamental frequency is 2.45 something. Okay, so this is done for the demonstration. Okay, for the switches for the DAQ and the VNA, how to do the remote and the spectrum as well. So I will turn off the synthesizer, frequency synthesizer. And then close it. Okay. okay, we can stop the controlling. Stop controlling. And then we can like stop for the remote. If you want to save the result, we can just click on here. Okay, to transfer the result from the PC to our place. That means, okay, let me show you. So let's say I have export this result. Oh, I need to request control. And this result. When I export, then let's say I export image, I put it on desktop, uh, make it bigger. So I may put it in desktop here, and this is the file name. So I just click OK. Then I just transfer my file here. From, so I'm going to copy this screen. So this file, screen 2021. So I open, go to C, and go to the Win user, and then HP. Then desktop. Okay, so uh, we can find the file. Let's say this one is the latest one. So I want to download this one. I just click on here and then I can save it in my PC. Okay, then I will go and view in my PC now. So I close it. Then I can just like click exit, make it small. Then the file have like download. Then I can open it from here. So this is the file that I have downloaded from the remote PC. Okay, for my lab. Okay, so that's, this is that's all for the demonstration. So then I will stop it for controlling. And then I will stop for access. Disconnect. Then we can click on exit. Okay, so this is how we connect to our PC using the Keysight Remote Solution. And also the DAQ and the training kits. Okay, this one can fully do it for remote uh, lab measurement. They actually also have, can do some like measurement is like you can use signal generator and the SA. So this is the connection for the training kits. Okay, but if you use for multiplexer, then this is the connection for the DAQ. Okay, if you want this solution, you actually can refer to this Keysight data sheet and then they will show you how is the connection looks like. Okay, you can download it at Keysight website. So that's all for the demonstration. Okay, thank you.